got to say, I've got congratulations on Harvest Stone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I got to see it on Monday. It is so much fun. I'm so excited for everybody else to get to see it. Uh, and I did want to start with Tom. Like, you get to really play with all of the kind of, you know, spy film, James Bond archetypal stuff. What you don't want to be weighed down by any kind of the, the history of the franchise. You really get to breathe your own individuality into the into this kind of genre and the style. So with that in mind, what, say, excited you the most about kind of stepping into this world? I think it was... I. I... I've always loved other films in this, this genre. I grew, grew, grew up watching them, and uh, and and the, the, the kind of the chance to tell uh, a story and make a film of this scale with so much action and scope was really exciting to me. But I, I love the fact that there was a, it was an original story and a new character, Rachel Stone, which you don't actually get that often um, in, in the genre, and particularly particularly being a female character played by Gal, and it came from her. That 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 was a felt like a real opportunity, um, and then in addition to that, I, I the kind of the thematics of the piece I thought were very interesting. Um, you know, the whole question of of AI and technology and how how we, we can use that and and and, and harness that that. That that power and that as a as a tool, but at the same time, how do we manage it in a in a responsible way? How do we not lose sight of our humanity and rely on technology too much? And so, you know, it was the kind of the the, the thrill and the scope and the 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 spectacle of it combined with actually kind of some social resonances that I thought were very interesting. And it's interesting that in the time since I've been working on the film, that three years from when I start first. Uh, join the Hearthstone team to to now. That's only become more relevant, and I think particularly with the release of ChatGPT, you know, it feels like a very hot topic of conversation now. Well, I do love because yeah, this, the film gives so many reasons why we shouldn't trust it. Uh, but then, like, you get you get something like that. It's like you get to really bring this endearing, dorky. I just want to honestly use the algorithm to love a good kind of energy to it. Uh, it's like what was that? Why was that important to you to kind of make this character endearing, to make this... Because in the, in the role Helens, as we see in the film, it is a really terrifying power. Like, why was it important to you to make this character likable and understandable in a sense? You know, I think, you know, um, um, what I love about the Jack of Hearts character is that he, at, at first he takes care of this crazy computer, but he, I think in his mind, he has a relationship with it. And that's his family, his girlfriend, you know, he, his child, uh, brother, sister. So, and he's the only one who, who can understand it like no one else. So he fights for the right things. And he, and I think what, what I love in that film is what Tom said. It's, you know, it's, it's about being human and humanity and solving the problems, finding the right solutions. And even uh, this quantum computer has someone, an operator who feels, who has feelings for, <laughs> For a technology, and um, yeah, so um, when when I came on board and I met Tom for the first time, and we created this language and the movements and and how the computer could look and work like, um, it was such a fantastic and crazy experience. And at the end, it looks amazing, and it's crazy that now you know we have this weird topic: AI is out there, and everyone just w w w watch out. <laughs> It really does gain a lot more, like, us watching and making notes of, like, no, that's worrisome. All oh, right, that was in the news yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the last question to both of you, just any time you come onto any project, I, you have to, I have to imagine you have an idea. I think I know how this is going to go. I know how I'm going to play this. I know how I'm going to direct this. I know what we're going to do. And that is, from my experience speaking with people, never the case for the finished product. You know, you find something new with characters. You find something new with the way you approach the story, just based on the collaboration with the cast and everybody else behind the scenes. With that in mind, what would you most say surprised you the most about Heart of Stone? What kind of caught you by surprise during the course of this, uh, this experience? Uh, I think for me, it was probably... Um... You know, just despite the kind of the enormous scale and, um, you know, the action set pieces and going to all the amazing different locations and, you, you know, the, 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 what it takes to kind of, um, uh, the logistics of some, something like that. Um, actually it was the, 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 the most, the, the kind of the core of it was actually the same as making any of the other movies that I've made, however big or small. And that's just about telling the story and, and the, and the, and the, the characters and the wonderful actors, um, bringing the characters to life. You, you know, like you can have the biggest, 
stunts and explosions and and sequences in the world but unless you've got characters unless you've got that human touch that human connection then it's all irrelevant right because you have to you have to have a story and some characters that you care about otherwise you know you're not going to stay watching yeah that was well said i mean he's the boss and every time we you know when we did our our scenes together and tom always had his holy bible the draft you know and uh and when he came over it was always like first of all it was like hey come on let's do rehearsal and let's talk about the human beings and the characters in that scene and what kind of story we want to tell what's the goal for the day and uh i love tom harper for it he's in he, by the way he is a fantastic amazing director and human being and i would love to do more with uh, him so it's a uh, congrats to you you made an you've you've been a, an awesome captain sir so uh, thanks to you thanks Matthias. thanks that's very kind of you <laughs> thank you okay oh, give me my 20 bucks give me my 20 bucks now okay <laughs> <laughs> it's all on camera too. It's getting in. I'm spending a trip now. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, honestly, I've been a huge fan of both of your work. So it was really, really, really cool. Uh, congratulations again on the film. Have a good rest of your day. A good rest of how many more of these you got to get through? I only hope I get the time to go again soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you.